The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, family? Welcome back to The Queen Show. You guys know it's been a minute. And uh, yeah, guys, it's good to be back. As you can see, I'm on this beautiful, new, lovely, uh, well, it's not a new couch, but it is new to me. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know, I have actually moved. And uh, yeah, finished cleaning up this area a bit. It looks a lot more pleasant. And I cleaned this up and I'm like, okay, I intentionally set it up so I can use it, which we're doing. So we're back with the Queen Show. I think, is this episode four of the Queen Show, guys? I really lost track because it has been a while since we did it. I think the last one we did was the show goes on episode three. Um, that looks like the last one on here. I'm kind of scrolling through here. So we're going to... Uh, well, unless I'm wrong, <laughs> we're going to call this episode four. We could be wrong, but I don't know. So what we're going to do with this one, since we are way, way, way behind here with uh, the Queen show, um, we're going to kind of just, uh, I don't know, randomly maybe just go back to back in those times there around that episode uh, three time. And we're going to have a quick look and just see um, what we got here that we could kind of talk about because there's so much information that you guys be dropping all the time as you know and I want to catch up with some of it and uh, catch up with some of your comments and uh, all that and turn it into a discussion here on the podcast if you're in your car uh, yeah just enjoy have a good time when you get somewhere safe make sure you follow us and if you are on uh, your desktop or your cell phone or whatever make sure you also subscribe to the YouTube channel off tap life and also the Queen show channel and the Queen army channel so links are always in the description I don't know how that's gonna work in a podcast world yet as far as links and stuff but um, you can always find us also at our official website off tap dot life okay so I want to actually check out this one here because this one right here, and I don't think we talked about it last time. I'm, I'm just guessing now because I really don't remember. But around that time, around episode two, we did Dragon Attack. And uh, we did The Show Must Go On, or The Show Still Goes On, or something like that was episode three, which we had just done the show must go on so it made sense that we did that so that means we skipped some songs uh in between that time frame which i think maybe we'll try to touch base of those right now a little bit um and we'll just maybe read a little bit out of each of those to kind of bring us up past at least episode three <laughs> because right now there's a gap of a few songs so one of them in particular here that I really love too. This is a great song. Um, is Queen I Want to Break Free. We did the live at Wembley Station, uh, Wembley uh, Stadium one, and we also the content did. On this channel Ooh, has been that's me. For adult. <laughs> um, we also did the video for that as well. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna look at the I Want to Break Free. I'm um, live at Wembley one here and um, go through some of your comments and stuff like that. That was a great song, um, by the way. I really love that song. I love what it stands for. And I think right now in this climate um, that we have, I think a lot of people are now wanting to break free. It's starting to happen. People are just tired of the things that we've kind of put up with and that we haven't really, you know, confronted and try to implement a better way or change. I think all around the board, people are just over it, you know, and it's not one, um, 
it's not like only one race of people who are tired of it. You know, there's a lot of people um, who just want to see equality. You know, I think it's time. I think it's overdue. It's 2020. It would be nice if we all just had that kumbaya moment and be like, all right, let's respect each other and, you know, treat everyone as equals. Like, let's do it. Let's just make it happen. So I want to break free this song here. It's cool because I think it re... Um, minds a lot of people of their own personal lives and in different ways that maybe they want to break free and it doesn't necessarily have to be a really big thing some people just need a break <laughs> some people especially if you've got kids um you know or you work all the time and sometimes you need to be able to feel like you can take your shoes off let your hair down and just break free that is you know a situation if you remember the music video of this song you know, and it was kind of a funny video because they were all in drag and they would show like Freddie vacuuming the floor and, you know, someone else was sewing or something and, you know, kind of doing, I think, the housework that maybe a lot of uh, people also feel like they want to break from and want to break free. And I think that video was kind of depicting part of that as well. So, I don't know, it's, it, to me, and I, you know, I believe art, music is art, you know, and it's subjective. And, you know, to each their own, I think music, different topics will hit people in different ways and it'll mean something different to someone else. Whether it's what the person who wrote the song, what it meant to them, doesn't necessarily mean that that's what it's going to mean to the person who's listening to the song. They might actually feel differently and might hit them differently. So, with that being said, for me, when I think of wanting to break free, I think about my life in general and just my entire journey and process to get to this point there's been multiple times where i i felt like i i needed to break free it wasn't even a want i just needed to do it i had to do it and a lot of things that come to mind is like relationships you know when you know that a relationship isn't in your higher good when you know that it isn't you know that you're just on two different frequencies you're at two different places sometimes in those situations as hard as it is you're like i gotta go i gotta break free from this you know and sometimes that's what's best for both parties not just one person um but you know other times it's just even just your environment if you're in a environment that is a bit poisonous um if it's an environment full of ugliness and 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 negativity and all these things that aren't going to be constructive in your growth and on your journey, you know, and, and add to you instead it's taking away from you, then you, you might want to break free from that, you know. You know, maybe you are someone who has been, you know, put into this situation. And that's where it gets really hard. Like, let's say, for example, you're a single mom and you were thrown into a situation before it's time where you know, you suddenly had a kid and the responsibility of raising a kid by yourself and you don't know what to do. You're, you're, you know, how do you tackle that? You know, how do you break free from that type of stress? You know, these are all, it, it's going to hit people differently is my point. Everyone has a story, everyone's on a journey, and everyone's going to view what they feel like they needed some assistance or a, a shoulder or a helping hand or some you know, direction with, you know what I mean? So there's, there's uh, around the world in many countries, and I don't know what they all are, obviously, but there are different companies um, on foundations or organizations, helplines, etc. you know, who you can actually go to or you can contact or call who can help you before it gets to a point where you feel so stuck and so trapped that you feel like the only way to break free is in a negative sense where you end up going, I've got to just end it. I can't do it anymore. You know, that's that that turns to depression, you know, when you don't deal with these things. So if you're in a situation where you feel like you've just had enough, you've had it up to here, make sure you take the time to give yourself what you need. Find a way to to address that so that you can break free. Break free from those binds that are pulling you down, that are holding you back, that are keeping you from living a fulfilled and happy life, that are keeping you from being the best 
that you can be to yourself because you got to remember through it all no matter what you're going through in life you have to take time to show yourself some love you have to look after yourself if you're not looking after yourself who's going to do that so it's important that you take that time to give back to you and a lot of people forget to do that and that's when it starts piling up next thing you know they're like oh my gosh I just want to break free but I can't I don't know how it's too late now look what I've done things have gotten worse it's piled on and just it's that much harder to do if you let it kind of simmer you know what I mean? It gets stuck to the frying pan. <laughs> if you let it simmer too long, it burns. So address these things early on, and it makes it a lot easier to address and to break free. Hope that helps someone. Now let's look at some of your comments here. Um, and uh, just kind of see what Queen and Freddie were thinking um, about this song. Because I know you guys will be very, very full of awesome things to say about this. Okay, so someone here, so let's start with this one. This, and they've written, this is another example, a nice big huge paragraph of information. So this is from Lauren uh, Rabah. I might have said your name wrong. I know I probably said your name wrong, so I apologize. Um, R-A-U-B-A-U-G-H. So if that's you, um, sorry, I said your name wrong. Um, but you wrote here, I love how he changed the song a bit here. He was having a few problems with his voice during this tour, but I actually really liked the deep husky sound he had. And that's actually a very interesting point for you guys that don't know. When he did this song, uh, when Freddie was singing his song, you know, um, and, and as a singer you go through these moments where, especially if you're performing a lot and you are putting that extra strain all the time regularly, you can have problems with your voice where you have to try to if you ha are in a situation where you have to still do the show you might try to change it up a bit so that you can still do the show and perform sometimes that might mean not doing those high notes and things that you might normally really love to do and stuff but you know you, you have to do what you have to do sometimes and sometimes you have to cancel a show which sucks I've been there it sucks when your voice is completely shot um, it's a tricky one because you want to give 100% when you're performing and out there, but in the same token, you go, wait, i got to kind of pace myself though because I've got X amount of shows still coming up that I have to get through, so, you know, but that's cool, you know, like, to know that because I listen to sometimes, I listen to some of Freddie's songs and stuff and I go, hey, he sounded a bit different, like, why didn't he go for that big part like he normally does, you know, and, that, and that's why, so. Um, Sadly, this 1986 European tour, the Magic Tour, was Freddie's last with Queen. So, in 1986, that was their last tour together. That's, I didn't know that. It's really sad. Um, he was feeling more run down than usual at the end of these huge shows. And after returning home, he was tested and diagnosed with AIDS just months later in 1987. So, that's just really rough and really sad. Um... You'd never know he might not have been feeling 100% as this concert in particular at Wemby is perhaps their most legendary after Live Aid. He really gave it his all. I love to see who wants to live forever soon as it may be. My favorite vocal performance of Freddie. Um, just going back to you earlier what she was saying though, yeah, look, you know, one thing that I noticed too is every single performance that Freddie did he gave it 110%. He freaking went hardcore at it. Even through the hardships he was going through when he was not well, you could still tell, though, that he gave it everything that he had. And, you know, that is freaking just a testament to what type of person he was. An amazing singer, an amazing artist. And, um, you know, he really passionately loved what he was doing. And he gave us a gift that is timeless that we will always be able to have. The gift of music. Their works that, you know, they did together um, at that period of time will go on for future generations to appreciate and enjoy and find and discover, like I did, how I discovered this, um, has been really cool. And it's been an amazing journey, and I'm, I'm awesomely just pleasantly surprised by how much I love so many of their songs. Like, there's, you know, my favorite, um, I actually love The Show Must Go On. I love that song so much. 
I also love um, the Leroy Brown one. I think that's that's cool. That song is just so freaking quirky. It's really cool. Um, there's a, quite a few songs, you know. Um, I, there's a long list. And it changes every day. Every time I hear something else, I go, no, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Um, but um, we're going to move on to the next, to another comment. Because on the rest of this comment here, I think it's more just about requesting some other songs and things. Um... But um, let's talk about this one a bit more. Um, I like this comment here. I like Joanne Darley wrote, It doesn't matter what kind of day I'm having, bad, good, or indifferent. Queen is my go-to remedy and fixes me up to face whatever the day brings. And Freddie is my drug of choice. I like that. I really like that. And sometimes that is the thing that is your way to break free from what you're going on. That's what music has the ability to do. It can help you to escape and to just feel like you're transported to another mindset, another, you know, just state of being. And it can comfort you and it can completely just tame your soul and bring you a, a type of fulfillment that, you know, only music can do and certain songs that just resonate with you in that way. It's really cool. And I like that. I really like that comment because, you know, it is it is like that. You know, you could be having the worst day possible. You throw some Queen on, throw some Freddie on, boom, next thing you know, you're smiling, you're feeling great. When I do those reactions and things, you know, a lot of times, especially with songs that I don't know, um, which is pretty much all of them, but, you know, there's this feeling of, Oh my gosh, anxiety a bit because I'm like I, I I don't know what to expect, you know, the expectation, and then when it suddenly just hits me in this really good way and it just carries me away and I get really pumped and in the moment and excited, I love that feeling. It's really amazing. Um, and even with songs that I know, I think like especially because we do a lot. There's a lot of reactions to songs that I end up knowing because you know we end up doing multiple versions of like. The same song we'll do a live version in Wembley we'll do a live version in freaking you know uh somewhere else and you know etc etc we'll do the lyric version we'll do the official video version and um, it's amazing because some of those songs you know you can hear the different versions and you still can get a different feeling or a different kind of oomph, or it can just again take you there it's really good when you've got good music like that and that's what queen does i like that um, let's see what else we can find here. Um, oh, this is a good one. So this is from Zenobia. And Zenobia wrote, Great reaction. I agree with you about the start of the song. Queen performed this song live because it was a popular song. But in truth, I don't think this song was well suited to be performed live. This song is mostly an electronic song. It doesn't transfer as well. I think the studio version is the best. Although, if my memory serves me right, there is a fun version in Japan in 1985. Songs such as Radio Gaga and A Kind of Magic were also very electronic, but they were always better live than in a studio. I don't know why it doesn't work for this one. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Some songs do just sound light years better when you hear the live version. You just go, wow, that is just, woo, that just hits hard. And then sometimes you'll hear the studio version, you go, ooh, studio version freaking is on point. And, you know, it, it, it definitely, I can tell you right now that pretty much all the Queen stuff, I kind of probably 90% say I prefer the live stuff a lot of times because it's just, it's just so raw and just so real and it's just so there and it's just so flawless how they do it and a lot of their songs that they perform live after a while when you've done it multiple times it's more polished anyways so a lot of times the live stuff would sound better than the studio stuff because they've progressed and they've done it so many times it's tighter and it's just really crispy but that being said there is some studio ones that I do really like and prefer it just really depends on the song and actually really for me it depends on the artist because some artists I would much rather listen to the studio version because their live version sucks <laughs> I'm just being real some people live they just are not they're not good at doing it they should not they should just 
yeah, just stick to the studio stuff and just don't even bother because yeah, their live stuff is horrible. Um, but Queen, thankfully, always delivered, always freaking took it there. And um, they're still taking it there, by the way, in case you don't know. I mean, they're still out there. Brian and Roger and Adam Lambert, man. Adam's joined the family with them now, and he's out there doing his thing. I heard through the grapevine that they dropped an album. So, or they recorded an album. Don't know when it's going to drop. But, someone else has said this as well. So, Din Hum said, uh, Queen did this show live during their South America tour. Freddie being Freddie came into the stage dressed similarly like he did in the video. His effort to camp it all up fell flat with the audience who had adopted the song as an anthem of the fight against oppression. Wow. Didn't know that. See, there you go, guys. Again, that song completely a whole, you know, South American, I don't know if it was a city or a group of people, but they were feeling oppressed. That song was an anthem for them to break free. And uh, again, just different strokes for different folks, you know what I mean? Um, wow, that is amazing. I like that. There is some footage on YouTube with Freddie wearing the get up, but the quality is not the greatest. Freddie always wanted to connect with rather than alienate his audiences. He would go out of his way to learn phrases in the mother tongue to share with the audience. When Queen toured Budapest, Hungary, Freddie took the time to learn a Hungarian funk song, folk song to sing to the audience. He learned it phonetically and scribbled what he needed on his hand to help him remember what to sing. Awesome talent. That's really cool. And I think that is really a testament to what we should be doing on this planet in general. Taking the time to go out of your way to understand someone else's language, to show them that respect, that love, you know, to be able to communicate with them better uh, and more effectively. I, I just think that's really cool. I think that's a beautiful thing. Again, another testament to Freddie. And I just love it. I love it. I love hearing this kind of stuff, man. That's really positive stuff. Um, is there anything else we can kind of do really quick? Just a quick comment here. Um, I, I'm going to just read this one because it, it, it is exactly how I feel <laughs> and someone penned it right. Angela Spears wrote, Faith, you rock. I can't tell you how much joy I get from watching your reactions. I literally have a big smile on my face and I get to see you enjoy the songs of a band that I will love forever. And I love that because that is what my goal is. I want to bring you guys entertainment, make you feel happy, put a smile on your face, get you to be able to break free from the hustle and the bustle of your day, of your life, and escape with me and be able to break free from all of that and just have a beautiful moment with, you know, with the family here, with me, with the all that family. And, and when I read comments like that, I know that the goal is being achieved and that makes me happy that puts a smile on my face warms my heart i love it so much and i uh, just also yeah you know i have um a big smile on my face quite often uh, because i am enjoying what i'm hearing i enjoy you know again it's certain i actually don't think i've really reacted to anything where i was like you know, that I didn't get excited about or anything because overall I just love music. I really appreciate all music. I have an appreciation for all music. And so, you know, there is joy in my heart when I hear music, especially really good music. It soothes me and it just makes me feel like the world is a beautiful place. I think music is one of the most beautiful gifts that we've been able to be given the ability to do and one of the most beautiful gifts that we have the ability to give to others. So that is an amazing thing. It's such a powerful thing that crosses borders, boundaries, language barriers, all that stuff. And it's just beautiful and I love it. And on that tip, I'm going to end this video right here. Um, I'm going to say thank you so much to each and every one of you who've left comments and all that stuff. I do read through all comments, unfortunately. I don't have time to reply back to all the comments across all my channels these days whatsoever. It's just not possible to do. 
but I do read them and um, I do my best to reply back when I can. And that's why it's cool to also add this podcast into the mix because I can share a few of them on, you know, live with you guys right now. And um, it's fun. It's good fun. And we can use it to create a conversation around which we've done because right now, yeah, a lot of people breaking free, which is a beautiful thing. So that being said, thank you guys for rocking and rolling with me always. I love you. I appreciate you. As I always say, remember to live each moment to the fullest and keep it off tap. Queen Army, we're out. I love you. See you again soon.